Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you two creative ways to use motion tracking in Filmora 10. So you know that motion tracking is an interesting feature of Filmora 10 that uh, I love to use it all the time. And maybe you will love it too. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, stick, a, stick a text to a moving object like this. Uh, so we, we want to put a text uh, to, to show what is it, right? So actually it is an air conditioner remote control. So I can turn on my uh, turn on my air conditioner now. And the second way is, is to use motion tracking to blur out your face or some sensitive uh, information uh, in your video. Okay, so that is very easy. Let's go to the software. I will show you how to do that. Okay, so here I am inside Filmora 10, and uh, this is my example timeline. So we have the background track here, and this is a video track. And here we have the text title. So uh, we show the uh, the air, uh, we show the remote control. Okay, and uh, this part, uh, we have the mosaic, uh, which is the blur effect, and we also have a call out here. So whenever you want to, uh, to use motion tracking in Filmora 10, just make sure that you split the clip at the position you want to do motion tracking. Otherwise, the software will have to, to track along the clip, a very long clip, so it will take time. So that is the first tip when you want to use motion tracking. And uh, at this position, for example, uh, just let, let me delete everything here. So before, this, uh, let me just uh, disable the motion tracking first. Uh, so that you can know you can know from the beginning so this part also okay so just uh, disable the motion tracking uh, click yes okay so the first solution you want to stick a text to a moving object for example at this position I want to split my clips uh, here for example just a, a small part like this and now we have the, this one uh, this is the, the remote control, so I want to stick a, a text to this remote control, it is a moving object. So what I'm going to do is to double click, double click at the clip and then I'm going to uh, video, uh, video here and I can see the motion tracking feature here. So this is the first solution to open the motion tracking. And the other way you can click here, uh, this button is my motion tracking. You can click here also, it will enable the motion tracking. Now you want to adjust uh, this tracking uh, tracking point to where you want to track. So uh, in this case, it is uh, the remote control. Uh, it is your your moving object. So we're going to uh, put it right here. Okay. So it will be like this uh, at this uh, position. Just recite recite this uh, tracking tracking point to as small as possible and make sure that your your moving object is in focus otherwise if it is out of focus or if you move it too fast then the program cannot track that moving object you have to adjust the keyframe later okay so now when we we are okay with the, the tracking point we can click this button to start tracking uh, just uh, do that and now Filmora will track uh, uh, this object, uh, moving object, so I didn't move it too fast, so it can track perfectly. Otherwise, you have to adjust the keyframe and it takes a lot of time. Okay, so when you finish uh, with the, the tracking, you, you got the tracking data, then uh, you need to add a text. So I'm going to uh, title and then select the title again. And I can use a default title here, just drag and drop it and put it here at the top track. Uh, on the top track and double click at the titles box to change it to something we can say remote control okay just uh, some text dummy text and change the phones you can change the phone to uh, whatever you want okay and the size i want to change it to 32. now i'm going to uh, move it move this text uh, to top of my remote control so uh, that is okay for me uh, now we need to double click at the, at the clip on the timeline and then go to the motion tracking again and uh, then select this menu. Uh, we can select the default title. This is the, the text, so we just select it. And now we have the, the, the text uh, stick to the remote control, a moving object. Okay, so let's play the video to see the effect here. Yeah.
okay i'm sorry for the audio it is a little bit laggy okay so that is the first solution and the second solution you want to blur out some sensitive information in your video like my face or, or something moving in your video okay for example at this position i want to blur out my face right and this is my face and i want to uh, start blurring out my face at, at this position to the end of the video so what i'm going to do is to click here at the motion tracking when i selected the clip on the timeline and then i can click here uh, to activate the motion tracking now it is very easy because my face is a, a big face so I, all i need to do is to adjust the tracking point to my face at this position and then i can click here start tracking okay and let the program work uh, it will take some times because I split the clip into small parts so it will take maybe one minute or, or half minute or, or two minutes uh, it is very very fast okay all right so when it finished tracking now we need to add a mosaic effect to to this place uh, on the screen by the way in Filmora 10 you can uh, go to the motion tracking here and then you can click this drop down menu it will have a mosaic effect here so just click here add a mosaic so i'm going to click on that and now we have the uh, the effect here and we need to, uh, to adjust this to my face adjust the size and we can also change the the, the effect the mosaic effect uh, by going to here uh, and then uh, maybe I will select this one so it's up to you and I can uh, I can also change the blur amount if I want okay so the blur amount is right here if you want to blur out or stuff like that or you can leave it by default and the opacity also you can increase or reduce the opacity of the blur effect here it is very similar to uh, blur effect in Filmora 10 uh, okay in the video effect tab I mean okay so that is how to blur the effect and we can have this effect very nice right so if i want to add a text uh, to this to say that oh, okay this is a blur effect uh, like what i have just uh, showed you at the beginning of the tutorial so what should i do okay it is very easy too uh, so firstly i want to uh, copy this clip uh, i'm going to press Control C and now I want to return to the beginning of this uh, small clip. Uh, I'm going to press shift home uh, To go to the beginning now I'm going to lock this track and this track and I'm going to press Control V to paste uh, this video track So it is on the timeline. So at this position Okay, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, so at this position and the next thing I want to add a call out and also uh, activate the motion tracking for that call out too. Okay, so to add a call out, I'm going to go to the title again and go to the call out here. Uh, so this is the call out, uh, call out number four uh, I used in my tutorial. So just drag and drop it right here. And now uh, we can change the call out uh, content uh, inside and uh, adjust the text or stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to right click and go to advanced edit. To open the advanced text editor so i'm going to delete this one uh, i will keep only this one so i'm going to uh, double click here or i can change it here blur i'm sorry blur effect okay and i'm going to align it uh, center and then i'm going to change it to maybe 30 30 is uh, stuff like that and the next thing i want to adjust this one uh, this box to this position and rotate it a little bit uh, to point out to my blur effects and also move the text to this area okay so when it's done uh, of course i can customize the text by the way i don't need to do that yeah, in this tutorial i'm going to click ok and now we can activate the motion tracking for this call out by double uh, double click at this clip and now we can select this one uh, and select call out number four and the next thing we want to hide this track uh, this track on the timeline so that is a tips for you to to do motion tracking for multiple objects uh, in Fibora 10 uh, so for example we are here here we have the clips and we can click this uh, eye button to hide it and now we have the the effect blur effect and 
blur effect for my face and also some uh, uh, call out to show show people about the blur effect okay so let's play it I'm sorry it is a little bit laggy so we can play it again Okay, so that is very simple, right? So uh, there are two creative ways you can use motion tracking for your video. One is to stick a text to a moving object and the other is to blur out your face or sensitive information in Filmora 10. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!